Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today I'm very excited for this unboxing. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. All right, grab yourself a healthy snack and a beverage. Let's just do this. All right, fishy folks, I got a box. We're gonna open it. Guess what's in it? First, the knife identifies as a man. Now, normally when I get fish delivered, they come to Philadelphia Airport, PHL, if you will, Southwest Cargo. However, uh, this order came into Los Angeles and then was shipped to me. Stand by. And there are no good flights to Philadelphia from Los Angeles. It came in Saturday. Uh, today is Sunday. And so the only way for me to get it in one day, less than 24 hours, would be for me to go to Newark, which is about an hour and a half drive from my house. PHL is about 25 minutes. EWR in Newark, kind of a poop hole of an airport. So I don't know if you guys have ever flown into or out of. It's, yeah, Philly is much better. There are many better airports than Philly, but EWR is, I fly out of there as little as possible. All right. Well, this is good. A heat pack that's still hot. Going to the garbage though. Very interesting packing jig. So, red lace. Red lace. Red dragon. Ooh. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta look at this. <laughs> it's a female. Well, look at it. Look at it. They're all females. Look how much water is in this little, little tiny package. So when you guys are like, how do you ship fish? Oh, you need at least five gallons per betta. Really? Because look, that's, I don't know, an ounce or two of water. Sorry, I just, I can't stand these snowflakes that, you know, bully you into thinking you need such big, so much water for, for fish. Cobra mosaics. Full red. Cobra mosaics. I know, I'm not showing them to you, right? It's just me. You're just looking at the red. What, what the hell does that say? Red? I don't know. Hopefully it's partner tells me what it is. This just says blue. Oh, albino, albino topaz. I, I don't know if you can see them. I mean, their eyes are so red. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm excited because I haven't gotten guppies in a long time. Purple something. Dragon maybe? Mosaic? I got to look at what I ordered. Purples. I think the purple mosaics, that's what they look like. Full red. I know, I know. I'll show them to you after. Besides, you can't, they don't even look that good in the bag. Oh, here are the red dragons. These look good. I say they don't look good, but they look good. Can you tell how excited I am? Very. He doesn't normally pack like this. It's very strange. Look at this, look at this red dragon, probably in this bag for at least, I would say, at least 60 hours, probably in this little bag, and look how good it looks still. Oh, I can't wait for it to color up. Get some good food, Dr. Basilier's. This is probably a gift, and it's written not in English. I, I have no idea what this is. Oh, Blue Eagles? 
So here's the thing, folks. We call certain guppies a name here in the United States because I'm U.S. based. Europe, sometimes they call them something different. And in Asia, sometimes they call them something different. So I think these are blue diamonds, which I think they call blue eagles. I'm not sure. I got to check. I don't know. Can you can you can you read that? All right. Oh, Dumbo Red Tails. Finally back in stock. And oh, galaxies. Oh, blue galaxies. Oh my lordy, lordy, lordy. I'm in love. I don't know how it's going to come across, but I'm in love. All right, folks, here's the deal. I, I am going to organize and start to find tanks and stuff. And then I'll show you what I got. And then, as always, I will show you them in the tank after they've kind of colored up before I put meds in. I will put meds in tonight because I want to get these up on the website next Monday so that I can start to sell them so I can ship. It's been a while since I've had a lot of guppies. So refill your snack and beverage. Check out my Teespring store if you like shirts like this. <coughs> I'm fine. I am. I have to find my coldest water cup, which is down here somewhere, but I don't know where it is right now. Uh, if you like the food stuff, I got that food channel, Michael's Eats. I haven't really made much content in a long time, probably since COVID started. But you know, I like to eat and I could talk about food forever. So I might start that up again. Depends. Let me know down in the comments below if you think I should start Michael Eats again. All right, stand by. All right, fishy folks, got everything put away. Now uh, remember, these guys have been in my water for less than half an hour. And look how great they look, all swimming around, all delicious. These are the purple mosaics. Now I have two braiding tanks of purple mosaics and I probably should have combined them together uh, to free up a tank, but you know, I'm old and an idiot, so I didn't do it. Uh, but I have to do it soon when the, the fry get big enough, easy enough to catch to move, uh, I will take care of that. Real quick, uh, this is a tank of uh, lemon blue eyes. I got about 250 plecos in yesterday. Lemon blue eyes, super reds. Got some long fins that I'll probably be selling at the uh, fish swap on May 14th. All right, uh, moving down over here, we have the full reds. Uh, a little small, we gotta fatten them up. Everything will be getting uh, Dr. Basilier's Forte for about a week, as well as baby brine shrimp. I ran out of baby brine yesterday, actually. No, Friday. And I had placed my order Friday with, or sorry, Thursday with Aquarium Co-op, and I got them Saturday. So fantastic shipping job to Aquarium Co-op. Uh, I really like their brine shrimp. <coughs> I'm fine. I also got some Zis Never Clog Air Stones because uh, it's always good to have those in stock. Um, all right, back to the order. Oh, real quick. I This is an empty tank, and I was going to use this tank for something, uh, you know, from the order, but then I realized this is a great breeding tank. I mean, it's got all the pothos roots and the java moss that's stuck in there, and it's got lots of mom for everybody to eat. So uh, I'm going to set this up as a breeding tank. I don't know what I'll put in there. Uh, maybe some red dragons or something from this order, probably, uh, to try to breed, and, and we'll go from there. So we have some more U.S. bred guppies. Uh, I have quite a few on the website, michaelsfishroom.com, but, you know, we still have to import to keep up with supply. I mean, keep up with demand. All right, over here we have the Dumbo Ear Red Tails. A little small, uh, but we'll fatten them up with the Dr. Basil Ears and the um, Brine Shrimp. Yeah, that was a brain fart, folks. Uh, real quick, we have uh, a Calico Pleco on eggs. Oh my gosh, look at all the mom. That's disgusting. The tanks are filthy. Oh yeah, another uh, Pleco on eggs. Yeah, it's terrible. Uh, up here we have the Red Dragons. Um, if you remember, this tank had Red Dragon Fry. There was about uh, six or seven of them. I decided just to put them all together because you know, they're not gonna, they're not gonna be eaten. They're too big. You can see one right there. Uh, here's an update of the rams that I got. Doing fantastic, actually. I'm really excited. Uh, so excited I may put some upstairs in my angelfish tank, but 
that's another story. Over here we have the albino blue topaz, still a little pale, but they'll color up. Once they warm up and get some food in their little bellies, they'll color up and be nice, nice. All right, what else, what else, what else, what else? Ah, the, uh, what are these? King Cobra Mosaics, I think is what they're called. They're basically um, Cobra Mosaics, but I think they're called King because of the big tail. I don't know if you know the reason why they're called King, maybe Phil can answer or somebody because I'm dumb and I don't remember. Where are the blue galaxies? I got blue galaxies and I'm so, oh, der, down here, blue galaxies. I've been looking for these. Tank doesn't do them justice because the glass is cloudy and I got to get air to that sponge filter, but they are spectacular. I will show you them another time, but oh my God, so beautiful. All right, that does it for now. I will take another peek at these guys probably tomorrow. So, uh, no, I won't. I'm going to actually medicate them so I can get them uh, get them going to, for sale. Everything that came in on the previous order that I got, all the Tetras, all the Corys, the Rams, everybody's doing fantastic. Uh, you can see these guys are just loving life. We got a whole tank full of these uh, lemon blue eyes. Check out my website, michaelsfisher.com. If you see uh, in quarantine or in QT, that means... You can order them before they sell out. And once they're out of quarantine, I will ship them to you. So, all right, fishy folks. Hope you enjoyed. Check out the website. Peace out. Everything is going to be get. Yeah. <coughs> Hiya, fishy folks. And welcome back to Michael's Fishing. Today, I'm very excited. I got guppies. I don't know if I was supposed to tell you that. Let's start over. <coughs> Morning phlegm, 6 a.m. 